Today I'm going to show you how to align your polar scope with your equatorial mount. Doing this will allow you to get much better polar alignment, which will let you take longer exposures. Here's a list of things you'll need. Your equatorial mount set up on the tripod. You can do this indoors or outdoors. I've chose to do it indoors here because my backyard is very small and doesn't have any good targets to use for this alignment. A piece of printer paper with a one inch black dot placed near the middle. And a helper. I guess this one will do. Now to get your uh, mount ready to align your polar scope, uh, you want to take off your cap and take off your back cap. And then you're going to have to drop down your weight bar. Not all the way, but you're going to need to get it far enough to where it clears inside this hole here. And then you're going to have to turn this, release it, to where you can see through there. So what you're going to want to do is get a piece of blank paper and put a black dot about one, one inch in circumference on it and that will give you a target that you can look through your polar scope and use that to help align. Um, you can see I've got mine on my back door glass here and I'll zoom out. I'm sitting probably about 35 to 40 feet away. It's better if you can do this outside. Um, about 50 feet would be the best. Uh, but then you'll just look through your polar scope and center up that black dot using your left and right and up and down adjustment knobs. Then release your clutch on your right ascension and rotate it 180 degrees and then relock the clutch. What that's going to do is it's going to give you an error if you can see where the dot is moved over to the right now. What we're trying to do is move the center of our crosshairs half the distance towards the center of our black dot. We'll do this by using the three set screws on our polar scope. Your polar scope will probably have three Allen headed grub screws here. I put three longer thumb screws in mine so that I'm able to turn two at a time. That just makes it a lot easier to adjust. Once you've moved the dot halfway back to the center of the crosshairs, rotate your right ascension back to the beginning point and recenter the crosshairs on the dot using your alt azimuth knobs. Repeat those two steps until you can rotate your right ascension 360 degrees without the center of the crosshairs leaving the dot. When you can do that, your polar scope is in alignment with your mount and you can get a better polar alignment. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and click the button to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to be notified of future videos, ring the little bell next to the subscribe button. Also, if you have something that you'd like to see answered in a video, leave me a message in the comment section. If I know the answer, I'll get on it as soon as possible. Thank you, and clear skies.